Travel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I know it's been a couple of months um, since I have uploaded a video and for good reason. I am at seven months uh, pregnant and I am expecting a baby girl in um, my due date's August but you know it could be late July. So I'm expecting and I had a rough first and half of second trimester. Um, the morning sickness was really brutal and it was just very hard to get into a rhythm of wanting to make videos because I did not even want to eat, let alone decorate. So that's why I have been absent, but I have missed the process of making videos and decorating and just kind of being around the YouTube platform. So, um, I have missed it and I'm glad to put this video up for you guys today. I'm going to be doing very mild cleaning and just kind of doing little small summer updates. I'm not technically going to do a theme like I have done in years past where I do like lemons or I do 4th of July. I'm just doing kind of like a refresh updates around the kitchen and living room. I think I'm just going to show you the kitchen for now because I don't have a whole lot of time either. Um, and then I'll do other videos where I do the updates in the living room. I don't know. It might be a plethora of things. But I wanted to just give you an explanation before I jump into the video as to my absence. And I'm so glad for those of you that have recently subscribed. Thank you so much for being here. And for those of you that have stuck around since day one, thank you so much for your patience. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's get to decorating. So I pulled out everything that I am going to be using to possibly decorate my kitchen slash dining area. Really it's more of the dining area because of the hutch than my kitchen. But if you want to see some of the new stuff that I got for my summer refresh kitchen updates and dining updates, I have those mini hauls that I did for Hobby Lobby and Dollar General. Um, up in my Instagram and I left my handle on the screen in case you wanted to jump over there and see what all I got. So on this particular day I didn't have really much to clean. Really it was kind of just decluttering the Mother's Day flower arrangement and balloon that I had on there and this cake stand because I kind of wanted more counter space and I wanted to use this cake stand elsewhere. I'm so sorry if I keep looking at the camera. I am super paranoid that the thing is not recording and given the fact that I haven't recorded in a couple of months, I'm kind of rusty. So I just wanted to make sure that the cleaning I was doing was uh, actually getting it recorded. <laughs> buy these two clear jars with the like wooden knobs at the top of the jars at Hobby Lobby one because they were 50% off but also I just wanted to revamp the space 
Um, this is, section is actually my husband's coffee pot, that old crusty whitish looking coffee pot. Um, we are wanting a new one, but we've just delayed it for one reason or another. So we're stuck with it still. Uh, it still works, but you know, it just doesn't look very pretty. But I just wanted to make this space look a little prettier. So I thought, you know, changing out some jars and adding um, my K-cups to another jar as well uh, would make it look a little cuter. So I have my own coffee section on the opposite side of the kitchen and he has his on this side that you're seeing right now. So I tried my hardest to cover the outlets and this cutting board was just not doing it um, because of the cord, uh, the coffee pot cord was sticking out so much. So unfortunately I couldn't cover it as good. Um, I don't know how else to cover it for now. It's just going to look a little janky. Um, and I tried to make the cinnamon um, container not look as cheap so I took off the label and just try to make it work <laughs> I'm trying to make things look appealing but functional at the same time decorating on here and I just kind of threw some stuff together right after winter just to have something there um, and I kind of like this I'm not feeling that up there I want to change it eventually I don't know that I'll change it right in this video because I don't have specific decor for that um, or I have to just wait till I'm done with the other decorating areas and see what I'm left with and work with that or just change things around. I might do that in another video. And then here all I did is I changed the uh, foliage in here um, and added these look more like cilantro leaf thingies and I just added them here and I went with this one versus the pie one because of the colors they will match the rug that I'm going to be putting in the kitchen so very simple very minimal just enough changes for me to feel like I did something different in here <laughs> I wanted to put a nice like runner rug in this kitchen and I actually thought that this one was longer than what it ended up being. I got it at Hubby Lobby for about $12 so I'm not complaining. I liked the pattern enough to keep it. So this is what the kitchen is looking like and I think I just made more counter space more than anything for the updates in this kitchen. I had planned to um, paint the kitchen a long time ago the uh, kitchen cabinets that green color right there and I just never got around to it so I need to at some point do that and those are just swatches that will eventually go away uh, I'm thinking of just going all white and then this little um, stand here is gonna be like a different color I may paint this little cabinet up here and I am gonna see what decor I'm left with and see if anything will go in there as well but I'm excited to actually start in the dining section in the hutch so I'm gonna go ahead and start that so to make things easier on myself because these days I don't have a whole lot of energy and I get tired of standing up too much, like my back starts hurting really bad. And um, so it kind of minimizes how long I can actually be doing things standing up. So I'm going to just take down the top portion of the hutch and the sign that says market. And that's the, I guess, like the main focus that I'm going to really 
um, change up there. I want to keep the hutch kind of similar to what it's looking right now as you see it but I do want to add little changes to the hutch just so that it just looks a little bit refreshed a little bit more simple and a little less cluttered and I'm just I think I'm just changing my taste where I want things a little bit more minimal I think it's just because of how I'm feeling I don't want to have to tackle too much decor um, taking it down and then finding a space to put it away upper space on top of the hutch I had a vision to have like stacking things so I wanted to start with like a window and then a cutting board and a sign and etc and then the window did not end up fitting so I miscalculated how tall that window um, and the space was for that window to fit up there so I remembered I had this basket and it just wasn't working so eventually you'll see me take it down and I had to really uh, assess how I want this space to look so it took me a good minute um, to figure out what I wanted to do and then I also remembered I had this smaller window um, that had more of a cottagey window feel and so I ended up using that um, to decorate the top portion I didn't want it too cluttered but I wanted it you know just to look cute uh, here at the top so I've said it often in my videos I'm not a professional decorator um, I just have a certain eye for things and if you're like me then if you like how I decorate I mean then you probably would like to know this um, the way I decorate shelves or anything is like in levels so I always try to start one end either with a small uh, object or a tall object and end the opposite side with the same size as I start it with so that way it's just pleasing to the eye and it just looks interesting at least to me say if you are brand new to my channel and are stumbling into this video I did want to take some time to say welcome my name is Stephanie and I am a stay-at-home mom and I do a lot of home decor DIY cleaning and organizing type related videos if that is your jam and that's what you like watching then go ahead and subscribe so you become part of the considered all joy community I would love to have you here
using this vase and I'm adding some um, plastic bags in the center, kind of like along the wall sides of the vase. So that way it keeps everything towards the center um, and the faux um, greenery doesn't move around and doesn't look too sparse um, because since this is a larger vase I didn't want to have to use too many pieces because I want to use some of the greenery in other spots. Um, so that's what I did to kind of help with that situation. And I'm just making an arrangement. It took me a while to get it to where I liked it and um, you will have to let me know in the comments. Uh, let me know if you liked the arrangement or just give me a thumbs up. much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed you can subscribe by hitting the red button down below so you get notified every time I upload a video that are just like this and cleaning and organizing as well I would love to have you here at consider it all joy and I will catch you in the next video